Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ, bless Israel. Do I have a scribe for me today? I get a brother to scribe for me. All right, all praise Josiah. Most high Christ bless you, bro. All right, this is the um, four chapters of date. We're going through Psalms 123 to 126. They're very, very short chapters, so this won't take long at all. All right. So we're going to start with Psalms 123, verse 1. It says, Unto thee lift I up mine eyes, O thou dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of the servants look into the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. Psalms 124, verse 1. If it had not been for the Lord who was on my who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, when they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us, when the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, and the snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So when, when Christians go to say that, 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 that psalm, these psalms are talking about Israel. These psalms are talking about Israel being saved from their enemies, being protected from our enemies. Because guess what? Our help only comes from the Most High God of Israel. Psalms 125, verse 1. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth, even forever. Which goes to show that Israel will never be cast off. Romans 11 and 1. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace shall be upon Israel. Always remember, peace shall always be upon Israel. Psalms 126, verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord hath done great things for them. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So this is all going into Israel being saved from the hand of their enemies. You pay attention, all in the Psalms, it was Israel, 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 us, our, we, us. All of these are possessive words used to describe us in our condition. We sowing in, in um, tears right now, but we shall reap in joy. All right, Israel. Um, Y'all stay tuned for uh, the Friday lineup, TGI Friday lineup. Uh, Most high in Christ bless y'all. Happy prepping and happy Sabbath. Shalom.